All right, so we're jumping right back into this thing. As you can see, I decided to waive Jarrell Martin. And I decided to sign Tyler Kavanaugh, don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right, to a two-year, $5 million deal. And I immediately put him into the G League just so that he can develop more and be better. But this team, we really need spacing. And we need another forward. So that was my mindset on that. And I'm just assessing the team now, looking at the team, wondering if there's anything else I need to do. And not really. So looking at it now, um, I'm looking, deciding to simulate some games. I simulate the first about seven games-ish, making sure the lineup is right. And we go 0 for 7. And looking at the games, you can see it's just not good. Colin Sexton right here shot 6 for 17. That's bad. Um, Darius Garland had a good game. His first ever NBA game. 17 points, 7 assists, shot 50% from the field. Didn't shoot well from 3, but you got to hope that he'll get that up. Uh, Jordan Clarkson had a good game. Dylan Willer also had a good game. Um, Kevin Love, though, you hate to see that. That's bad. 5 of, of 13 shooting. Kevin Porter Jr. had a good first game for him, too. Ante Zizic was good. Larry Nance. And, yeah, next game, the Pacers, we lose by 35, you know, and... It's at this point that I realized this season is going to be horrible. When you're losing 35 by 35 in your second game, it's horrible. Um, they just played well as a team. Their defense is nasty. I mean, you have Victor Oladipo and Miles Turner, but our leading score only had 15 points, and he shot two of nine, so that's bad. This Bucks game, Giannis absolutely killed us. 36 points, 18 rebounds, nine assists. Kevin Love actually did have a good game for us, but, man, dude, Giannis is a freak of nature. Uh, Jordan Clarkson was okay. Um, Kevin Porter Jr., okay also. Larry Nance had a good game. Uh, Darius Garland, even though he didn't shoot a lot, he had a well-rounded game. Seven assists, six rebounds. You like to see that. Um, but this is our first win. Uh, evidently enough, it comes against the Knicks. Uh, RJ Barrett was good. But Darius Garland, 32 points. You love to see that. Colin Sexton also had 21. And Kevin Love had 20 points and 10 rebounds. Our big three doing their theme their thing but collectively as a team we played well dylan windler had 16 points uh jetty osmond jordan clarkson and then i go to kevin porter jr and he just doesn't look too good and i mean man 30 percent shooting from the field 22 percent shooting from three and we've simulated like 10 11 games at this point so i make the decision to send him to the g league just you know for a couple of months ish so that he can you know develop in there and get better as a player because obviously he isn't ready I decided to waive Sundarius Thornwell because I'm in I'm in need of, you know, a better defensive guard. So I'm, you know, looking through. And my first option was actually Iman Shumpert. But unfortunately, he just wanted too much money that we weren't able to um, offer him. So I decided to go um, with Jonathan Simmons, um, signed into a one-year minimum deal. And now I'm looking to trade Jordan Clarkson because, as I said in my previous video, my plan for Kevin Porter Jr. was to send him to the six-man butt, or make him our six-man butt, He's in the G League now, so that means I'm going to be making somebody else our six man, and you guys will see who it is a little bit shortly, but, you know, Jordan Clarkson for Mo Harkless and, you know, a lottery-protected Sixers pick, I think that was a fair deal for both sides. With the Clippers, you're getting bench help that they desperately needed, at least in this season. They were, you know, a bottom team, but as you see, I'm moving Colin Sessions to the bench. You know, the experiment with him and Darius Garland obviously isn't working, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put um, Jonathan Simmons at the two guard getting that defense next to Darius Garland to hopefully, you know, make him more comfortable and make it better. But I'm going to simulate these next five games here. And unfortunately, we do lose against the Sixers. But um, if you can see here, we go three and two in our next five games. And that's great. And this next game right here, Colin Sexton and Darius Garland played amazing. 20, 28 points for Colin Sexton, 26 points for Darius Garland, even though Darius Garland didn't shoot well from the field. But he still had a particularly good game. Larry Nance, Tristan Thompson, they all did their thing. This Heat game right here, I mean, look at it again. Colin Sexton and Darius Garland are our two leading scorers, you know? So, obviously, it's looking like they're getting accustomed to the role. They're being great. They're playing well. You know, you have Colin Sexton carrying, you know, the bench, and then you have Darius Garland carrying the um, starters. I think this is probably the plan moving forward. Looking at this game, even though we did lose, Darius Garland and Colin Sesson both, again, played well. You know, it's just the rest of the team didn't play so well. And this Trailblazers game, Darius Garland explodes for 44 points. We see Colin Sexton with 28 of his own, and this is when I knew it was final. Colin Sexton will come off the bench for probably the remainder of this rebuild. 
at least the remainder of this series because it's obvious that he's flourishing in this role and he's past that poor start that he had and this is the, probably something that the Cavs should do in real life you know let Darius Garland be that man you know make him that man and it's something that I think that they will do but moving on you look at this Bucks game we actually beat the Bucks and again you know another example of them playing well you know you have right here Dylan Wendler actually was our leading scorer uh, again Garland played well Sexton did not play well at all right here but it's fine. You know, you can't be great all the time. Another game right here against the Sixers. We almost win that game. And Ben Simmons goes off for 44. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, that's another tough game. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, please like and sub and share with your friends. But that being said, it's So Sports, and I'm out. Peace.